Go. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Caleb Karam. I am proud to be sitting before you here today. I am a first-time student ambassador for Brunswick Community College. However, I am also a sophomore at, at Brunswick Community College. Some of you may know that I am partaking in the Associates in Science Criminal Justice Program. It is something I've always wanted to do ever since I was just a little boy. However, to, under to better understand that, we must go to where I was not sitting before you here today. We must go 20 years ago. I was born to a family of three, a mother, a father, and a sister, in the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on September 29th, 2000. For at least four years, my life was grand. My family got, did a lot of traveling together. We went to Florida to go to the beach, to go to SeaWorld. We went to Arizona to visit family, visit the Grand Canyons. For so long, I always thought that I was going to have a nice, good, grand life. But it wasn't until I hit that four-year mark when a change had begun to occur within me. The first one to notice that was my mother. When she first saw, saw my problem, she was very, very concerned. She'd ask me, son, are you okay? What's wrong? I am very hyper. I don't know why. She was very concerned seeing such hyperactivity, me pacing back, me pacing back and forth, flapping my arms like a bird. As a result, she took me to a children's hospital where they could perform a diagnosis on me. When the diagnosis came back, my mother and my father were shocked. Their son was diagnosed with Asperger's autism. From there, I had begun to go into a depression-like spiral. As such, I was afraid to get out of my shell. I was afraid to go talk to people. Even trying to make friends was so difficult even those who were just a few feet away. It, even was, it was even very, very saddening when it, when, when it came to school with my disorder. Kids had begun to take advantage of me. They had bullied me, harassed me, and as such, I was becoming a victim of hate crime. The pressure had begun so much that I wanted just to quit, quit, and take my life then and there but my family did not want this to happen. They got themselves involved. They had consoled with the counselor and technical specialists. They had made scheduled play dates as well as reward sheets. And for a few years, it was going well for me. But as time passed on and I was growing older, I was becoming less and less adamant to those types of help. I would always constantly argue with my mother that I am not going or that I'm not going to do it. It went, on that, it went on like that for at least a full decade. It wasn't until my 16th year and my sophomore year in high school that my family had begun to mentioning to move down to North Carolina. When they, break the, when they broke the news to me, I was very excited because I always thought we could go to the beach, go fishing, and go on boat rides. But then I thought to myself, when they also mentioned that I would be finishing school down there, I had begun to think to myself again. Here we go again. However, little did I know that moving to a new state, to a new area, would be the change that I needed. I had begun to quickly adapt to my new surroundings, and at age 16, I knew that it was time for me to act like an adult. But to do that, I had to become responsible. I had to show grand maturity. I had to become goal-oriented and I had to get out of my little quiet space. As such, with those qualities, I had begun to get my first job as soon as we moved down here. It was even more grander when I became a very welcome individual when it came to high school, particularly South Brunswick High School. I had always been, a, with me being always being a victim of hate crime in my, own, my old school, I would not think that it was gonna happen, that a change was gonna happen in school. However, Little did I know that I was welcomed with open arms and being different didn't matter. As such, I had begun to make great, many grand achievements. I had become a presidential honor student, scoring 4.0 GPA and having all A's. I had even begun to show qualities of a leadership and even when I joined JROTC, becoming a squad leader, becoming a professional marksman when first joining the rifle team. 
As such, I had worn once, I had gained so many awards and wore so many medals. Even so, that I graduated as cadet captain. I had even gone so far to present myself to the public when I pre presented a speech called Duty, Honor, Country. With that, I had even gained first place for a school contest for the Odell Williamson Oratorical Contest. First place in my school and third place in the state competition. With all that, I would like to thank those who had helped me throughout my autistic journey. My old school guidance counselor, Nikita James, my mother and my father for sticking with me until, the, until today. Even so, I also want to thank my JROTC instructors for being such welcome and teach me, teaching me what it means to be a leader. I would even like to thank the SROs because when I saw them, because of my interest in being in law enforcement, I always thought to myself, I'm going to be just like them. With that, after graduating, I had immediately enrolled into the Brunswick Community College, partaking in the criminal justice program. I had always thought to myself, what would I do once I earn an associate's? Would I go into law enforcement with that associate's, or would I plan to better myself? I had chose the second option of bettering myself. I knew that after Brunswick Community College, I would transfer to UNC Pembroke where I'll obtain a bachelor's. From there, I plan to go into local law enforcement in order to complete the one dream that I've always had, going to, to Washington, D.C. and becoming a Secret Service agent. As such, I would also like to thank my school instructors, Ms. Lisa Fields and Mr. Holloman, because, I, because with them, I was able to gain the knowledge of my field because they were because I knew for a fact that I was being taught by professional law enforcement agents. As such, I would also like to thank the donors and the people for taking the time and money to, for, us all, for us all. I would like to thank you very much because without your assistance, I probably would not have been the person I am in the field today or the person I plan to be in the future. As such, I thank you very, very much. I thank you all for being with me this afternoon. Thank you all.